Welcome everyone, Kevin Carpenter here. I'm honored to be talking with Sean Parent, who is going to be our first keynote at CPP on C this year. Um, if you don't know Sean, I'll, I'll let Sean introduce himself because uh, that's probably better than me reading off the script. <laughs> okay, um, I'm Sean Parent. Uh, let's see, I've uh, uh, been developing C++, I guess now for about 30 years. Um, I work at Adobe. I'm a senior principal scientist uh, currently running our software technology lab, uh, which is a group that's focused on improving software engineering practice, which we define as being distinct from process. So we're, we're concerned with what code engineers write when they sit down at the keyboard. And we're, we're taking a, a long range view of it. So looking out over the next decade, how do things change? Okay, so I got a follow up long range view because when I was looking at things today, was it about 2013 that you started giving talks or even earlier than that? I mean, that was one of the first ones I found. Okay, uh, certainly earlier than that, uh, uh, you know, I started giving talks, um, boy, probably around 2002 time frame. Wow. Um, which is when the first software technology lab started. And well, you know, I gave a talk, a couple talks before that at things. I worked at Apple, so I gave a talk at WWDC way, way, way back. Um, uh, but about 2002, we launched software to the first software technology lab and started collaborating with Texas A&M and Indiana University. Um, uh, and uh, we were part of the, the industrial affiliates program at uh, uh, Texas A&M. Uh, so I gave a couple of talks at Texas A&M and those kind of snowballed. So people at the talk saw the talks and invited me to give other talks. And for the most part, they were just um, uh, uh, at universities or at mm -hmm. corporations. So I gave talks at Yahoo and IBM and Lockheed Martin and uh, as well as Texas A&M. And then in uh, let's see in, I had given a talk at the first boost con Dave Abrahams invited me to give a talk there. Uh, so I gave the opening t keynote at the first boost con. And then after that, I think it was Herb Sutter who invited me to give a talk at, uh, going native. And that was 20, what was that? 2013. Uh, that's my C++ seasoning talk. Yes. Um, uh, there, there are some earlier talks online. I think there's a talk from uh, like 2007 or sometime in there where I gave a, a Google tech talk that was recorded. Um, uh, yeah, so I've been doing it for a while. It's just YouTube <laughs> is a new phenomenon, so. That's true. Needless to say, you're a pro. <laughs> 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 Little experience. <laughs> A little bit. A so little bit. I'm at this point, I'm pretty comfortable. So, so I got to ask when you're, you know, because I saw in an interview, Gabe, you were talking about the amount of material that you end up putting in a talk with all the talks that you've made. You know, the talk you're giving this this year at CPP on C is all the safeties. How much yep. of your previous talks kind of round themselves in pieces or parts into future talks? Kind of like how you talk about the STL builds together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I I frequently will find when I'm giving another talk that it will touch on a previous talk. And so I'll try to steal some material or even occasionally steal a few slides or or uh, or, or things like that. Uh, uh, certainly, there's lots of overlap after the the C++ seasoning talk. I, I've given a series of talk called Better Code Talks. Um, uh, uh, and so, so my better code talks, I'm trying to each one builds on the, on the others. And so sometimes, you know, you can't just drop the audience in assuming, oh, you've seen my other 10 talks. So, you know, right. where we're going right now. Um, uh, uh, so, so sometimes there to, to kind of lay the groundwork, I'll, I'll steal, steal material. So, yep. So from the better code talks, I, I just kind of jokingly want to ask, so is, is the book back in, in works yet or not? Cause Amazon didn't show, but didn't show it yet. Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the book is, is, uh, uh, back in works now. 
since I have a team again for software technology lab, uh, uh, I have a, a, a team of co-authors. Nice. And so, so internally, uh, we just launched a better code seminar. Um, so Dave Abrahams gave the first two lectures in our better code seminar, and we've kind of gone through all of the, all of my talks and all of, uh, the pile of notes that I have around the talks, um, uh, and, and distilled that down a bit and, and laid it out as a seminar and taken all the, the scraps of writing that I have, have from the, the mythical book. Um, <laughs> uh, and so now we are all, all collectively working in that direction. Um, yeah. I'm excited because I mean, so I, I was talking with a, with one of the, a new person at C++ now that gave a lightning talk. And we were just talking about how, you know, in school, him and I both did a lot of debate. And at one point after one of the CPP cons, I was approached by a publisher and they asked me to write a book and I actually started on it. And I have to say, wow, that is like one of the hardest things. I think it would be easier to write individual talks than to go through and write individual chapters. Um, so, you know, that's why I was saying, I was jokingly asking, cause it's, it's a big task writing something. I mean, I do think talks are easier. Not that I give talks like you do, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is writing and kind of pulling everything together and, you know, staying on track is, is very difficult. Um, uh, uh, and, you know, I like having, having co-authors, the collaboration is fun, but that also means, uh, uh, disagreements and conflicts and, <laughs> and so that's a challenge, uh, but I think it'll all, all be, be for the better in the end. Um, uh, I think we all have a fairly clear vision, uh, 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 that we're, you know, refining over time, but, but I think it's a pretty solid revision for, for what we want the, the arc to be of, of, of this book. Um, uh, you know, I, I contributed some to, uh, Alex Stepanoff and Paul McJones, uh, elements of programming. I wrote an appendix for that, uh, uh with Bernice Strusto. and, yep. um, uh, uh, you know, in that book, uh, uh, that was, I was managing Alex and Paul at the time. Uh, uh, so that book was a challenge and, you know, a lot of people don't even realize that that's the, uh, uh we wrote an entire draft of a book that was going to be called Programming as Mathematics, uh, which you can find, I think, under Notes as Programming on stepanoffpapers.com, uh, which oh, wow. is the website. And so we wrote this entire draft of a book and then scrapped it <laughs> and started again. Um, uh, so, so uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a challenge. Uh, you know, I, I have great respect for, for authors who are able to, to sit down and, and pull it off. Agreed. Yep. So, but the reason we're here is because your keynote and you're coming to CPP on C for your first yeah. time. Yeah, uh, I did. I'm I, a little nervous about how to get from the airport to, to CPP on C, but we'll figure it out. So I have to say that that's kind of funny because last year was my first year going to, and the train system is wonderful. Like, oh, good. Um, I mean, you can, you could probably do it some other way, but uh, to get to the venue from the train is like barely a half a mile walk from where the train exits. It's a high speed train. Um, my wife and I, we, we want to move to Europe just for the transit system. It, it just works so well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I always, uh, you know, coming from the states where we do not have much in the way of a transit system. Um, every time I'm in Europe, I'm, you know, nervous. Like, how am I going to get from A to B? And and it's like, what's the schedule for the train? And then you realize, oh, the trains run every couple minutes, so you just show up and get on. <laughs> and, it's, and what's what we found was even funnier is even throughout some of the other countries we went through, Google or at well, I don't know about Google, but Apple Maps at least just works like if you turn around and tell it where you want to go and you set it to transit it'll tell you which train you need to get on when it's running if there's a delay um so yeah getting to folkestone from london is a nice leisurely train ride Mel, well, i don't know about the tube being leisurely but the high speed from like saint pancras to folkestone is a leisurely okay so Great. that that won't be a problem what else are you excited about with cpp on c 
I mean, for all the conferences uh, you've been to. After all the conferences I've been to, you know, my favorite part of every conference is just spending time with the community, right? And I find every every conference I, I speak at has a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit different flavor, a little bit different mix of people. Um, uh, uh, there's always some familiar faces there. Um, uh, 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 but that's, you know, I, I enjoy that part of it. And, and I look at it, I, uh, I got my first job at Apple because I, I attended a conference and asked, uh, somebody who was fairly well known, um, uh, if he wanted to work on a project together and that turned into, to me getting a job at Apple. And so, so I always feel like I, you know, I owe something to these communities. And so, so I like uh, going to the conference. I'm, I won't commit to speak at a conference unless I can, can stay for the whole thing. I don't just, you know, fly in and out and, and, and be that guy. Um, uh, I go and attend the talks and if I don't get lost in the hallway track, which is frequent. Um, yeah. uh, and then, uh, 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 you know, enjoy spending time with the community and, and having amazing conversations. So. so I'm really glad you said that because one of the things I wanted to say is, you know, it's one thing people are like, you know, especially when, they, when we did online, you can watch a lot of talks on YouTube or whatnot after it's done. But that was one part I wanted to add is like, if you if you're anywhere where you can get to CPP on C, to come see Sean Parents talk all the safeties, which I've seen some of the slides on, but I don't want to give anything away. But I like how you pare down some things from earlier talks. Um, you definitely want to come because it's not just being able to see the talk, but it's I I just think of the talks where I've got to actually sit off to the side and talk to you about things that were either C plus plus related or just life related, and and that can't you can't get that from YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Uh, uh, you know, if if people haven't been to a conference, come to a conference. If you haven't, you know, spoken at a conference, I, I say, you know, give a lightning talk, uh, sign up for that at least, um, uh, get some experience. Uh, uh, I think, you know, well, my opinion is that every engineer, uh, every programmer should attend at least one conference a year and and just for for well first i find it very very refreshing you mm -hmm. learn a lot and and you you end up with just a bunch of ideas yeah and going back to work feeling motivated and like oh there's all these these things i want to try yep. um, uh, but you you'll also make contacts you'll meet people uh uh uh, uh, uh who you'll be able to to know, pick up the phone and call them or send them an email or a Slack message and have a conversation about a topic. And the ones you've, you've met each other face to face, uh, 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 that can be, you know, a phenomenal resource. Right? Absolutely. Well, Sean, I want to thank you for taking time to chat with us today. Uh, for everybody that wants to come, this is, you know, CPP on C is going to be running from June 28th to June 30th in Folkestone. Um, there are some classes which will run on June 27th. If you're interested, head over to the website to register. And Sean, thank you again for, for giving me some time today so we could chat. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you. It was fun. We'll see you at the conference. Okay. Bye.